specifically because we have Heather Greenwood um, on the show today, and she is with It's Just Lunch. This is a, a, a um, high-end dating service, and um, and it got me to thinking about an article that I saw recently about soulmates. And what the author of the article was saying was that it it's kind of a cop out to rely on the whole soulmate thing. That if you just don't believe in soulmates, it actually makes your relationship stronger for a number of reasons. And How so? I'm curious. Well, one of them was that I thought was very interesting is that it, it teaches you to not rely on somebody mm -hmm. else to complete you, mm -hmm. you yeah. know? You remember Jerry Maguire, the movie, you yeah. complete me, yeah. And it's so romantic and it's so well, sweet, it but in real life. Well, expectations? Is that what it is? I don't know. I think, you know, what this author was saying that is that it makes you work even harder mm -hmm. at your relationship because right. you think, hey, it could end. It takes work. Right. right. Yeah. And, and we all know sense. that. It, mm -hmm. it, you know, they, they do and can end. So I don't know that I believe in soulmates. I don't. I do. Why? Because I, I found mine, and he's my everything. And we complete each other. Are you going to start crying? <laughs> don't, don't be hating. Don't be hating that I literally married the most perfect human being on the face of the earth. I do think there's something to be said for at every phase of your life, you have perhaps a different yeah. type of soulmate. Or that or person grows a, with you. A soulmate yeah. necessarily has to be like a lover. Like, can't you just have this like amazing connection with like a friend and like they complete? I don't think it necessarily has to be That's like a, a romantic very good point. Or somebody that just gets you. Yeah, like I always tell you. Lulu, my dog, that she's my soulmate. <laughs> no. <laughs> Baby. Okay, so we, Baby. we, we, we need better Heather, than that. Heather's sitting over in the living room. Wait, we, we need to do better than that, to Baby. find you a soulmate. I need girl. a husband. We need expert <laughs> help, Heather. Is there such thing as a soulmate? And do you tell people this when you are, are um, you know, helping them find the date? I think there. I think it could go either way. I mean, I believe in soulmates because I found mine. But Ugh, you, you guys know, make me but, sick. I know, I know. <laughs> but you know what? There's somebody out there for everybody. You can't just sit around and wait for the man of your dreams mm -hmm. to come budge up in through your window and land on your lap. There you have to put yourself out there. <laughs> Romeo, um, get out there, meet new people. You know, get get yourself in front of people your friends, your family. I mean, just put yourself out there. That's what I say. Mm -hmm. True. Yeah. That's yeah. a good point. I think it's a lot of pressure that that people put on themselves mm -hmm. if they do believe in that notion of soulmate. Because I think that then you, you hold everybody up to the standard that yeah. may be unrealistic. Or on right. the flip side of that, the, the places where, you know, you may not be so perfect. I am a... I am a slob. Wherever my clothes come off at the end of the day, that's where they stay until the end of the week because I just don't like to clean up. And Ryan gets that. He doesn't bother me about it. He doesn't like it, but he doesn't bother me. So you but do that's just compliment being compatible. each other. That's, well, that's right. just being compatible. I mean, you know, Scott and I, 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 under that definition, I could say, you know, we're soulmates. Well, part of the but equation. This point but in the our lives. question yeah. is, can you He's have... He's the perfect person for me at this point mm -hmm. in my life. Well, that's my question to her is, can you have more than one soulmate in Heather, your life? Heather, can you have more than one soulmate? I think you can, mm -hmm. <laughs> for sure. Like I said, I mean, you know, I mean, you just have to put yourself out there. If if you're in a relationship and it's not working, get out of it. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's somebody out there for everybody. Right. You just have to keep on going. And I think there. soulmate implies that it's going to be this, like, earth-shattering feeling of love. And I don't, that's kind of fleeting. Yeah, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I think you want off. your husband to be off. someone yeah. that you get along with. You have similar values, similar morals. And that's what's going to keep a relationship going, not this earth shattering. Right. And you know, love, the butterfly. I totally agree with yeah. that. They, they talk about that in the in the five love love languages, mm -hmm. the book that you actually don't feel true feelings of being in love with someone until like after two years of dating, mm -hmm. and be, because to begin with, it's all you know, lusty and and passionate yeah. and all that. Graduation. And, yeah, and hmm. then that wears off. Eventually. I still have the butterflies. <laughs> wah, it's wah, 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 wah. <laughs> Your soulmate's out there. I am so excited to talk to Heather because um, we're. Going to talk about you know dating in the holidays and and all that sort of stuff we're going to pull megan into it too get you hooked Hashtag up girlfriend <laughs> <laughs> the resident single Thank girl <laughs> okay we have that and so much more today on the broadcast thanks for tuning in it is what is it tuesday tuesday uh, tuesday on the broadcast okay <laughs> Happy Hanukkah. Mazel. Mazel <laughs> we have uh, jeff kyle up next to talking about his brother the movie coming out and a wonderful foundation that he's involved with so We'll do that after the break.